you guys and welcome back to uh, Yorkshire Garden. Um, we've not made a video for quite a few days actually uh, since last week. Um, but it is 15th of September now and I'm doing a lot of catch up because I've not been able to get in the garden um, as much as I'd like to from, for one thing and another. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to show you these. So I've been doing a bit of investigating. Remember the first lot of fan palms that I put in? Um, that I told you about. Before, I put them in before I started this channel actually. Um, well I thought I better do some investigating and see what's going on because none of them seem to be germinating at all. When I got inside and did the investigating um, I found on nearly all of, of the seeds, the pips, um, I got this white stuff on them. On further investigation there were little white grubs crawling in and out of them. Um, really, really tiny ones. So I'm gonna get on Google and uh, and look up what them little blighters were, um, you know, and educate myself on them and how I can prevent them. However, I did find one intact pip here. So what I is gonna do? I'm gonna try a different method to try and get it generate, uh, germinated, generated. And that involves, obviously, a polythene bag and some muck. Now, I've looked this up. It's, it's another good method of um, doing your fan palms, apparently. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a bit of this muck that it, uh, all the ones that are germinated have been in. Bob it in this bag and we'll see how this little guy gets on. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll grow nice and healthy. Further to the second lot that I did in this Quality Street tub, there were just remember um, there were one or two that had not popped through, so I thought I'd investigate there as well because I'm impatient and stuff. And I found four ceilings just there. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop them up when I've determined which way is up and which way is down. <laughs> so they should be all right, and then I can put them with the muckers, and they can chill out and grow to the heart's content. So right then, um, I have done a video actually on um, collecting sunflower seeds. I had some lovely sunflowers this year. Um, big, massive heads on them. They were like bigger than dinner plates at a carberry. I mean, absolutely massive. Um, and I have taken a bit, I've, I chopped the heads off yesterday um, and I've harvested a load of seeds. And I'm going to show you how to do that later on um, in this video. So, like I said, I'm going to pop these up <coughs> and I'll just show you how to do this baggy. Right, so I've got the pip, put him safe up there. Just for that. Basically, all I'm going to do, this is quite damp, this, this muck. And it's good soil because it's been proven we all, them others, that good turnout of seeds we had on my second, my second lot. I've only put half a handful in there. That should be well enough. Uh, in fact, they might be a bit too much, actually. <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of that. Take a bit of that. Don't need that much. And I'm going to bob him in there. See there. And now I'm just going to tie a knot. Leave him there. And just keep having a look, see how he's doing. Could have actually put about 10 seeds in there, but um, with all that muck, but it should be all right anyway. We'll, I'll report back on that later. Let's put that somewhere and put it took back here. Also, I've um, you saw me sewing all the pansies, the winter pansies, uh, for winter, believe it or not. <laughs> um, you might think I might be a bit giddy planting winter pansies now, but the idea about that, I think I mentioned it on my other video, is that um, if you if you plant them now, if you sow them now, it gives them a chance to get really good roots for winter, see them over winter, and then in springtime, they'll absolutely go bananas with, with colour. Um, you'll get one or two over winter, a little bit of colour, which is brilliant, but uh, spring is where they really, really kick in. And I also said on my last video as well that... Um, the flowers, when they do put a good show on, they'll take you all the way through spring and up to the end for when you want to start getting ready with your, with your summer flowers. 
putting them in. Just thought I'd show you my uh, winter pansies that I'd bricked out. So, yeah, just over 200. Um, so I'm going to see how these go. They are a little bit leggy, some of them. But I'm hoping they're going to be alright. I did have them under this um, fluorescent tube for a few days at night time, just to try and give them a leg, leg up. I don't know if it's done them a bit too much or not. We'll see anyway, they should, they should be alright. I'll report back with that later as well. Um, I could do with the water, actually, some water in this grow bag tray. That one's not in the grow bag tray, neither is that one. Also a tip. Also, I'll just, uh, while I'm here, these are my lemon tree cuttings. Getting loads of little branches coming off now. Leaves. Well, not loads, but uh, <laughs> some. They're looking promising. So, right, on to the sunflower video. Don't forget to subscribe, people. Um, and thank you for spending some time on this channel. As always, keep safe. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.